What up, everybody? It's your boy Old Man Sim here, and I'm back with some more fire content. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a kill switch command for your channel points with Mix It Up Bot. Now, there's some tutorials out there for Streamer Bot and Atrium, Adium, whatever it's called. I always mess up the name. This is going to teach you how to cut your channel points off automatically with either a command or through your stream deck in those times that you don't want chat to go ahead and activate a command that whether they're not going to see the video or not going to hear sound or for whatever reason that you don't want your channel points on at the time like me recording this video. But guys, before we get started, I do stream over on Twitch five days a week. We'll see all kinds of content, whether I'm playing retro games, new school games, spooky games, tutorials, react videos, all different kinds of things. I hope to see you over there. Hit that follow button. Have a chat with me. Say what's up. Also, uh, you're already here. If y'all could hit that subscribe button down below over here on the YouTubes, leave a comment, like, share with your friends. Tell me in the comments what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what you like, what you don't want to like. Every reaction is a good reaction and it helps push my content forward. I'd really, really appreciate it. Hope you see on either platform. All right, everybody. So have you ever went and had a channel point that you really put a lot of time and work into and somebody either hit it when you're on the starting screen screen, be way right back screen, or at a point in time when it just wasn't up yet and ready to use, therefore causing that one time use is over and everybody's screwed out of it or you know, there's a timer or a cooldown on it already, or that's one less time somebody can use it because you have a limitation on it. Well, looking through some videos, I've seen people do different kill switches. And I know through Mix It Up Bot and Streamer Bot and ADM, you can make channel points through there and cut them off and on. So what I realized was there's not very many tutorials out there for people who use Mix It Up Bot. And to me, it's my premier bot, my favorite bot I've used it since I was back on Mixer. Um, I do use Streamer Bot as well. Um, but to me, it's the best bot out there and they are coming eventually with a uh, cloud-based version. So a lot more people I think will get into it. So I think this will help them a lot. So what I've done is I've made a chat command that will cut on or cut off all of the channel points that are made. At the same time, I've integrated that command into my stream deck to where when I change to my be right back screen, it cuts the channel points off. When I change my game playing stream, it comes to the channel points on. When I go to ending soon, it cuts those channel points off. Or when it hits starting soon, it cuts those channel points off. So what it does, it prevents from people from using the channel points when they don't want to. Or if they're doing a moment like I'm doing right now where I'm recording a video over here on Twitch, nobody can sit there and run a channel point and it interrupts and it's not supposed to happen. So as you can see right here on my, on my channel points page, you can see that everything is in white and everything is off. Um, which also I found out too that Twitch apparently has a 50 channel point limit and I had reached it. So I combined some things, got rid of some things. I think I'm down to 47 now. So with this easy command and this easy setup, you'll be able to disable and enable points whenever you want to. Um, you can lock it to mods or lock it to just you or any channel editor you want to if that's all you want it to do. And so say for instance, you need, hey guys, can you cut my channel points off real quick? I want to do something. Or hey, can you cut them back on? Um, it's very simple, but I tend to forget things, <clears throat> excuse me, so I don't leave them on commands or as commands only or just to, um, where only I can do them because I will forget. Like if I left it just as CPU on and off, it would probably be through half the stream and my channel points would be off. So that's when I went over to my stream deck and integrated it into that as well, which I will show you as well. So the other bots I was talking to you about, streamer bots are really good uh, bot for Twitch. Um, it's a standalone bot, just like Mix It Up is at this point. Um, it's really good features. It's a really cool thing. It um, interacts directly with the API on Twitch, so it's a lot more intuitive than other kinds of bots. Um, Atom, which I'm probably saying wrong, is another really cool tool that interacts with your Twitch and does a lot of automated things, and it's a bot or whatever. It's a paid-for bot, so I'm not really into that. There is some free things you can get from it. There's some plugins that I got from there that um, allows me to do... Um, TikToks and shorts at the same time I do a Twitch clip and also allows me to, um, you know, if I were to broadcast to Instagram or TikTok, they would do it at the same time. So I definitely say to go and look into their vertical plugin if you use standard OBS. <coughs> Excuse me. But the bot that I use is Mix It Up Bot. Um, the link will be in the description below. To me, it's the best bot out there. Like I said, I've used it since day one. Super intuitive. The creator, Savior X10, he's a really, really good dude. I've talked to him a lot. He's helped me through a lot of, um, issues that I've had or workarounds and you can go into their discord and you start asking questions. There's a good chance he'll answer them. And he does uh, development streams and stuff like that to show people and help people. It does, works with other um, sites too, Trovo, Glimish. Um, that stream deck integrations, discord integrations, Twitch and Twitter integrations, um, everything you see here. They can do everything you see here. Um, you can build a lot of cool things in the background. Um, if the developer API is really cool. So if you know how to work with different things like that, you can build your own things. It has a community area where people make commands and if you're not sure how to make it. You can download one they made if it's something you want to do or download and edit it. But this is the bot that I prefer to use. 
<laughs> so here's the catch. A lot of us go in here and we create a channel point and we go down here to where it says add a new custom reward. The only way this method works is if you create the channel point and mix it up. Now, for the most part, I've always made them this way and I had to redo all 47 of mine. I'm not telling you all to do that. A lot of y'all probably don't have as many, but it's not really hard to fix. So first I'm gonna show you what I did was I went in here, I copied anything that I wrote in here and I just copied and pasted it in a little notepad. Um, or if you don't have anything like crazy that you said, I would just be like, you know, um, copy this, boom, paste it. I would, you know, have that. Um, let me just copy the whole thing. Um, so I just copied that and I put this, just have it saved. I don't even need it in a notepad. So what I'll do is with the say hi, I'm new. I'll just redo this one real quick. I'll go and I'll copy and I'll exit out. So what I did was, because you have to make them and mix it up. That's the only issue. It's the same thing with Adium. It's the same thing with StreamerBot. They have to be made and mix it up. Now you make them and mix up the same way you make them here, but you just do it all through the bot. Now, a lot of people, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this right here. So. I have the screenshot sitting here so I can know the points and what the what the things were that were made. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open Mix It Up Bot. Um, you're gonna open that up. Sorry, everybody is getting shown that's in here. You're going to go to Twitch channel points, and here you will see all of the Twitch channel points that I have made. The problem is <clears throat> these are ones if you want to mix up and you add a command to an existing reward. I can add a command to a reward that's already been made, and that's the way a lot of people do it. They'll go on to Twitch. They'll make the reward, then they'll come over here and they'll find the reward name this way. Um, that is not the way that you should do it if you want this to work. What you need to do is you need to come in here and I'll show you first. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna delete the hi I'm new just so I can show you all from the beginning how it does. Okay, let's go ahead and split this in half. We'll do the other half this. So as you can see, the hi I'm new is not there. So what you'll do is you come over here to Twitch and I did this through all of mine just to recreate each channel point, create a new channel point reward. I'm gonna hit okay. Oh, because I didn't fucking pick a name, sorry. And then I'm gonna do hi. Hi, I'm new. Let me just double check that's how I did it. Say hi, I'm new is how I did it actually. So see, I messed up already. Say hi, I'm new. Hey, okay, boom, I made it, simple. Now for this one, I don't need to, I don't have any video playing, I don't have any pictures playing or anything like this. Like if you look at the finishing one, you'll see I have uh, images and sounds and everything playing. This one I don't have playing, so that's fine. It's not a big deal. So I'll go in here, I'll go and I'll edit it. Windows V, which was new followers only, blah, blah, blah. It was for 350. It was for 300, sorry. So go to 300, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick the, uh, I have all of my stuff saved in one area, so it's easy. I don't have to redo any of these. And then boom, channel points been made over here. Um, you need, this one people need to text, they need to say hi. Um, you know, I always skip the rewards queue. I know some people don't do that. Cool down the limits, it's gonna be used one per person. And I'll do it like every two minutes. You don't have a million people saying hi, but okay. And then boom, you're done. And there you go. Then over here, it's right here. Say hi, I'm new. Why do I have two of them? Oh, that's why. So this one did have it. So let me delete that. Let me edit this. Let me add a sound to it. But I didn't realize I had a sound to it. Go over here. Where's my soundboard? Find hello there. And then save. Boom. You got the channel point maintenance over here. Now some of y'all will be thinking, man, I got to make them all and mix it up. But I made it over here first. Like I made this sim. I made this finish him command. And then I came over in here and I added a command and, and did it that way. And then made it. I made it in mix. I made it in switch first. I don't want to have to redo all the stuff. Everything's perfect. Everything fits perfect. So then that's what you do is what you do is you go over here. And what I did before I remade all my commands, if you have to remake any, I exported actions to file. <clears throat> I made a channel points folder and I backed up all my channel points commands. That way I never have to re-enter a image, where it goes, what time it plays, the sound or any of that stuff. So that's a little hack that you can do if you have to remake some of your commands. Or for instance, you don't have to, <clears throat> I'm extra, I wanted to cut every channel point off. So say like finish him, I, finish him was the only one that I didn't want people to play on my be right back or starting soon screen. I could just remake the ones that I want to not be on there. You know what I mean? So you can do it how you want to. I was just showing you how to make them through here or how to copy them over if you've already made them in Twitch. Um, and the thing is, it'll tell you here. Um, I'll show you where it'll show you. It'll, it'll, you'll know if you made it in Twitch or not. So like I said, it's, it's super easy. I'm probably making it harder than what it needs to be. But like I said, all you got to do is make it over and mix it up first. Go over to uh, Go over to here and edit it. 
make it how you want it, and then boom, it's made. Um, instead of making it here first in Twitch and then putting it in here. And like I said, you only have to redo the ones that you want to be on the kill switch. I wanted all mine in the kill switch, so I did them all. It really didn't take as long as you would think it would take. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to commands, um, and you're gonna create a new command, okay? You're gonna name the command whatever you wanted to. Uh, I'm just making it a different name just because I'm showing you how to make it. I added an extra F there. And you're going down here to actions and you're going to go to Twitch. And you're going to add an action. Then in here, you're going to go to update channel point reward. And it'll tell you right here, channel points reward must be created through mix it up to allow to be able to update them. Um, when you click channel points, if nothing shows up here, it means you made them on Twitch. The only ones that show up here are the ones that you made through mix it up. So those are the only ones that you can cut off or on. So let's go with this one. Let's go with say hi, I'm new, since we're that's the one we're messing with. We're gonna do enable. I'm gonna cut down update cooldowns and limits because the up cooldowns and limits aren't gonna change. So I'm gonna leave that at blank. I'm gonna turn that off and leave it on enable. And then boom, I have it saved. And then I hit save and then boom, it's gonna make it an ungroup thing. Let me open it. And then I'm gonna hit here, I'm gonna hit channel points off E. It's already off, it's already, well, this supposed to be on, I'm an idiot. On E, on E, hit save. So watch, say hi, I knew, I'm new when I test this command. That's command, boom, it turned it on, okay? So to make it, to turn it off, you would do the same thing. You would go and you create a new command. You do whatever your channel, point, offy. So do CP, offy, make sure they're different names, obviously. Then go down here to Twitch. You're gonna add, you're gonna type channel points reward. You're gonna find that same one again, say hi, I'm new, and make sure that this is not enabled. So if it's clicked and it's white there instead of purple, what it'll do is it'll disable it. And that's all you gotta do. Click that, make sure that's off, and then click that on. Boom, boom, boom. Now we have the off command and we have the on command, right? So watch, I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the channel point on. Yep, test it. It's on. Not the channel point off. Boom. It's off. So therefore, now we have a command made to do these off and on. I'm gonna delete these. Um, I'm gonna show you another little hack I did. So mine are under mods, and these are all my mod commands. So I have channel points, CP on, and CP off. So right here, it's gonna take a second to load them all because I have 47 fucking commands. Do, 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 do. So as you can see, what I went through is I went through one by one and added all of my channel points on. All of my channel points on, I added them one by one. But remember, I deleted one of them. I deleted the say hi, I'm new. So let's see if it's still here or not, or if it got deleted. If it got deleted, I need to remake it. So see, it messed it up, so I have to just re-click it on. So say hi, I'm new, boom. So this is my channel points on command, right? And obviously it's gonna turn all these channel points on, just ah, look, like, the, like the thing says, whoops. I need to turn that back off, it's no big deal. Um, so we have all of them in here. Um, these are all my channel points, they're all in here. So you're like, man, they gotta add them all one by one, that's a pain in the ass, it is. But once you get them all done once, you're like, man, I'm now gonna have to make an off one, that sucks. So what I did to speed this up, is once I created my channel points on or my channel points off, whichever one you create first, once I created that, I went over to this button and export actions to file. And you're gonna go to wherever you made, you backed up your, cause I always back up all my commands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the command channel points on. So to make this super duper easy, we're gonna just make a new one real quick, okay? Then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go back to import the action. And then we're gonna import the channel points on. And like Sam, I just imported the ones that are on. I already made it on switch. But you did, but this will save you from having to go and re-put in every channel point. And then this will make sure that every channel point you made an on switch on for, you made an off switch on for. It's gonna prevent you from forgetting. Then all you're gonna do is go here, go to disable, go to disable, go to disable, and you'll just disable them all the way down and then save it as channel points off. So boom, you have a channel points on command and a channel points off command. So automatically you'll be able to cut all your channel points on and all your channel points off, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So that's how you make the commands. And I will show you real quick. Um, I think I have a pop-up right here. Yes, I do. Um, so here's my chat right here. Cool, no offensive. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put channel point on, okay? Now watch all of them going from enable, from disabled to enable. Look, I'm turning purple. Purple, slowly but surely. They're all coming back, slowly but surely. See them all coming back on. That one didn't come back on, I don't know why. I gotta make sure that I fix that. And then boom, they're all on. And then obviously if I wanna cut them all off, and this is like I said, this is just a command way of doing it. And it sets where only mods can do it. You wanna make sure you turn that mod only command to do it. It's gonna cut all these off. It's yelling at me saying that it can't turn the that one on because it's off, because it's off already. I need to figure out what I did to mess that one up. 
But all of them are done now. Don't pay attention to that. It has to do with this new one that I made. I fucked it up, so it's all good. I'll fix that momentarily. So now you have your kill switch to type it in whenever you want to type it in. And that's the thing that, uh, that, that's the easy part. I mean, that's the hard part. So now you want to add it to your stream deck. Super duper 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 simple, okay? Let me open up my stream deck real quick. I'll just show you how I did it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You're going to come in here. I'm going to delete this and just show you how I did it. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. You're going to make a new tile. You're going to create a multi-action. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to drag a scene over here, which is going to be your starting soon scene. So when you press that button, your stream deck starting soon will happen, right? And then you're going to go over here to... Where's mix it up? As long as you have the mix it up plugin added to your to your um, stream deck, go over there and mix it up. You'll run command. You'll go over here to chat command. It's a chat command we made. And then the command's going to be channel points off. Okay. Then done. We're going to go back up and then change this to where's my starting soon button? There it is. So boom, now that's made. And then here, whenever I switch via my stream deck to starting soon, it'll cut my channel points off. Same thing when I switch to this, it'll cut my channel points off. So what I did with my gameplay was opposite. Um, I added it, but I did channel points on. So now all I have to do with the push of a button, all my, all my commands turn on, all of my um, channel points turn on, I mean, sorry. So I hit the gameplay button, we're already on the gameplay scene, but I hit it and it's gonna turn them all on except this guy, because this guy's fucked up for some reason. I done fucked him up for some reason, which I will sit here and fix in a second. The bot's gonna yell at me and say, hey, motherfucker. And there we go, guys, that's it. You now have a command made in your mix it up that allows you to kill channel points at any time that you are a mod or just you, however you wanna set it up. But it's also set up with Stream Deck so it'll automatically cut it off and on depending on what scenes you go to. Now, you might say this is overkill, but trust me, it's always good to have every plan, uh, have a plan every time. Um, in case, like I said, I'm making this video, I wanna cut channel points off, I, I want them off, so. Um, I just, you know, type CP off and I don't have to worry about anybody coming in and running something when I'm making a video or if I'm on my be right back screen or if I'm on my starting soon screen. So I hope this was a lot of help guys. If you did, please leave a like comment, subscribe below. Um, like I said before, I also do stream five days a week over on Twitch. I'd love for y'all to come over and hang out. Tell me how y'all got there. Y'all got here from the YouTube from TikTok, wherever. Tell me what you want to see next time. Say, Hey, I liked your video on the mix up back. Can you show me this same thing in the YouTube comments? Just let me know what you think. Let me know what you like. Just, just let me know. Any little bit of criticism helps. And uh, I, I just, just really thankful for all y'all for being here. So until next time, it's your boy, Old Man Sim. Peace. Oh, he just fucking made me do a fuck. That's how I dance in real life, bro. Just like that.